a very good morning children so today we'll see the glossary of the lesson the adventure and also the textual grammar okay so uh, come to the page number 49 come to the page number 49 so first there are some meanings over here we'll try to understand the meanings ruins so we got the word called as ruins in the lesson that so there were a fort and uh, there were some ruins of the fort that means collapsed and uh, decayed buildings right collapsed completely fell down the buildings completely fell down and uh, it was completely decayed so those kind of buildings were over there so collapsed and decayed buildings right they are called as the ruins and one more word we heard is ancient ancient in the sense very old the opposite of ancient is modern okay so that's the first mean second one is explore so we came across a word called as explore so they loved to explore the village the fort the town so explore in the sense to search or to travel through to search something to research something to travel so people from here they go to forest okay to explore what is in the forest they go to antarctica to explore what is in the antarctica they try to go to the moon to explore what is in the moon so that is called that is what the word explore means next is crumble here the word crumble means to break into pieces we have seen the paper which is broken into pieces right uh, two they were she got only one particular piece of the paper where she could see only the letter clp that is h and the part of c are missing that is a piece of paper okay next is passage passage in the sense okay uh, you can tell you can see that it's a way it's a long a narrow way uh, so that you can go from one uh, end to the other and it's like it's like, like a passage right so you, you see the tunnels right it's like a passage so you, you start from one end and you go to the other end so it's a passage right and then smugglers the next word is the smugglers smugglers are the people who are involved in the in legal activities moving goods from one country or to the other country so from our country they will supply our goods to the other country without the knowledge of the government so that is how they, it is illegal activity so we should sell right but we should not uh, take these all goods and all and uh, take it to the other country without the permission of our country so that will become an illegal activity so though people who do these kind of activities are usually called as smugglers next gag we have seen that a gag was put in the police officer's mouth why they have put the uh, gag what do, you, what do you mean by gag gag is nothing but a cloth it's nothing but a cloth which is put in the mouth of a police officer so that the person will not shout for help he will not yell for help so that it will prevent him from talking that's the reason why they put a cloth in his mouth so that is called as a gag it's called as gag next is a pant next is pant here the pant panting in the sense okay so if you if you run like you no know, from here to some other, some distance so you will feel exhausted also you will breathe heavily isn't it you will breathe heavily right so you 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 will uh, uh, your short your breath will become very short in the sense uh, for example if you are if you have to breathe 18 times per minute you'll be breathing around some 30 to 40 times per minute so a very short breath right so a very short breath dhammasthundi and dham right that is what you tell in telugu right that is called as the panting it's called as panting so pant next is gang gang here is a word okay gang is a noun it is a noun actually and because gang here means that there are some people involved right it's an organized group of criminals a organized group of some criminals are there so they form a gang to uh, do the illegal activities so here we are calling them as a gang a gang of robbers a gang of thieves right a gang of smugglers so gang is a word which is basically used for the criminals a, a group a group of criminals are usually known by a gang okay children now come to the question part answer the following questions answer the following questions the first question is what kind of town was vishnupur so what kind of town was vishnupur vishnupur was a very quiet town and surrounded by green hills and also some ancient ruins so surrounded by some 
ancient ruins. So it's a very, it's a very quiet and calm village, a uh, very town, which is surrounded by some ancient ruins. So that is a kind of town which was Vishnupur. Next, what did Sima find? What did Sima find? Sima find. So the answer we write as Sima found. Okay, we write the past tense of that. So Sima found a crumbled paper on which CLP are the letters written on it. So CLP was written on it and it's a crumbled piece of paper. That is what she found. How did the children know that somebody was in trouble? So how do they know that uh, they were in trouble? Because they found the paper where it was written CLP, right? But the word CLP doesn't have any kind of meaning. So, and uh, within no time, uh, Arun said that it is not C, but it is E. So it should be ELP. Then Seema said that it's not an ELP, but I think it is HELP. That means help, help in the sense somebody is in trouble. So that is the reason why they wrote on a piece of paper and threw it here. So that is how they came to know that somebody is in trouble. Okay, the next one. Where was the secret passage? The secret passage was at the Mina Bazaar, right? So it goes to the Mina Bazaar, right? It's a secret passage. What would have happened if the police had not arrived on time? So what would have happened if the police had not arrived on time? If the police had not come on time, what would have happened? So what would have happened? The police officer who was caught by the smuggler, definitely he would have been killed. The smugglers would have killed the police officer. Do you think the children took a risk? If so, what could it be? Do you think the children has taken the risk? Yes. The children definitely have taken a risk because if the children has gone there on their own without taking the help of anybody, if the smugglers were there, then they could have harmed the children also. So definitely when, if these kind of adventures are there, you know, like they, they, they should definitely take the assistance of their parents or some elders so that they would not be in danger and they would be definitely safe. Okay. Now come to the next. Write whether the following statements are true or false. Correct the false statements. Okay. So you have to write whether the statements are true or false. And also you have to collect the, correct the false statements. The man, the first one, the man, the ch children found near the secret passage was a smuggler. The man, the children found in the secret passage was a smuggler. Do you think he was a smuggler? No, he was a police officer. So it's a wrong statement. It's a false statement. The right answer is he was a police officer. The man advised the children not to call the police. The man advised children not to call the police. Do you think so? No, it's a false statement because the man asked to call the police immediately, right? The next one. Seema and Arun rescued the man from danger. Seema and Arun rescued the man from danger. Is it right? Yes. Seema and Arun, both of them rescued the man. They took out the gag from his mouth and also untied him under his hands and legs so that they can they could run away from that particular place. So he was actually saved by them. So rescued in the sense here, yeah? saved. Rescued in the sense, saved. The children ran back to their grandparents' home with the man. Is it right? So the man and the both children, they went to the grandmother's home. Is it right? Yes. All of them went to the home. The children are not brave. Do you think children are timid? Do you think children are not courageous? No. The children were absolutely brave. They are courage. They have the courage. They are really brave because they rescued a police officer. They did not even... The thing twice to help the man who is in danger. Take the correct answer for the following questions. The next bit is take the correct answer for the following questions. Seema and Arun went to Vishnupur on. We have three options here. A study tour, a vacation, an adventure. Which is the right one? They went on a study tour. No. An adventure they want. They went to uh, go ahead with an adventure. No. They went only on a vacation. They so that they can spend some time with their grandparents at the entrance to the cave. Seema found so when Seema went to the entrance of the cave, what did she find? What did she find? She found what she found Arun. She was searching for Arun, right? Did she find Arun? No, did she find the man? No, then what did she find? She found a piece of crumbled paper, right? 
the man seema and arun helped was whom did they help the man who was helped by seema and arun was their uncle okay is it right no a police officer need to think a smuggler definitely not so it should be a police officer so these are all the uh, glossary right that is what we have studied till now now we come to the vocabulary we'll come to the vocabulary so here already we have seen a word called as gang i told that gang is a collective noun gang is a collective noun here collective noun in the sense okay so here uh, there are some uh, a and b uh, things are given here so that you can match it right so mob board troop army bench crowd audience team and spectators right so all these words are nouns all these words are nouns but, but we call them as collective noun we call them as collective noun so some people collectively together called as right for example gang there are some robbers and all these robbers together they are called as a gang that means a gang will have some robbers and so the word gang is a noun in the same way here when you come to the word called as a mob when you come to the word called as mob what is a mob here mob is isn't a group of people definitely but what they have come for so if you if you see the fifth one some people gather for destructive purpose so mob is a like you no know, uh, there are group of people who come to demolish something who come to destroy something right so whenever there are some dharnas and all like some people will go and uh, uh, like you no know, they will break the glasses of the shops and all so do that particular group is called as a mob that group is called as a mob next is board next is board so what is a board so basically a company will be there and then there will be some people in that particular board so you can say number of directors of a company so that is called as a board number of directors okay who are in a company are usually called as a board so basically they say that we will go for we will have a board meeting tomorrow that means all the directors will come and sit for the meeting okay that is board next is troop next is troop so what is troop here what is troop here you know some people like no uh, like uh, they they uh, they'll be a, they'll form as a group and they'll go for like you know, they are artists some of them will be dancers some of them will be some doing some acrobatic things and also that's called as a troupe okay so a troupe of dancers a troupe of artists or a troupe of acrobats next army okay what is army what do you have in army a number of soldiers a number of soldiers you find number of soldiers in an army next is bench next is bench what is bench bench don't it's not a bench which is in your classroom we are not talking about that particular bench we are talking about the bench bench in the sense here a group of judges a number of judges okay uh, the bench that means a number of judges so one or two or three four judges when they come together we call them as a bench then crowd okay so what is a crowd so if there is any specific purpose for example there is a meeting the crowd will come there so a group of people who come for a special purpose are usually called as a, a specific uh, purpose they are called as a crowd next is audience next is audience so generally when somebody gives a lecture people are there who listen they are audience then then there are people who uh, like no they come to a movie they are audience right so concert movie or uh, lecture no whatever the people listen so that particular group is called as audience so no we cannot take take everybody's name so on the whole we call them as audience next is a team what is the team you all know ipl is going on so team of players players is a number of players is called as a team so indian team when you tell indian team there are all the players okay from virat kohli to the last person the last bowler or the even the 14th uh, man also the complete one you can call it as a team a team of uh, a number of players is usually called as a team spectators is called as spectators right what are spectators the people who are watching for example the cricket match is going on the people came there and to they, they want to see what's actually going on right so those Uh, people are usually called as the spectators. They are called as the spectators, right? So, for example, 
uh, there's a shooting going on, right? Uh, and all the people who are standing there and looking at the shooting, right? Those are spectators who look at the scene which is going on, usually called as spectators. So these are all the grammar parts in from your lesson. And also tomorrow, what we will go ahead with is the grammar part. Okay. So we'll go ahead with the grammar part and all. So stay tuned for that. I'll meet you tomorrow. Until then, see you all. Take care and bye.